Moko Yesu Christ. Now what they put Joseph in a danger. Joseph too, Amenamu. No, they put him in a pit. They thought he would die in the pit. Some of you are already in the pit. They have designed a day for your funeral. They've dug a grave for you. They've bought your, your, your coffin. They've organized the funeral clothes. They've bought all the drinks. They are waiting for the day that you fall down and die. That we serve a God who has conquered the grave. Therefore you shall not die. I say you shall not die. I say you shall not die. I say you shall not die. You will leave. And you will declare. The works of the Lord. Then let me say this. Until the day that God has decreed comes. Nobody can kill you. No I didn't hear an army. I say until that day comes. Nobody can kill you. If God be for me. Who can be against me? Yesterday night. Some devils visited me. They wanted to not do some horrific things to me. To frustrate this program. This name Jesus. That we have found. Is full of power. In his name. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. That Jesus is Lord. May God preserve your life. Joseph was put in the pit. What did Joseph do? I mean, um, the God commanded him to be removed. Then they sold him to some wicked people. And they went to Egypt. And sold him to Potiphar. Then Potiphar began to be blessed. Because of this Joseph. Then Potiphar's wife set his eyes on him. And made several entreaties to help him. Because Joseph will not budge. It led him to prison. In the prison. He, he held on. To his faith in God. And the blessings upon his life. Prospered the prison. In the prison. He upgraded his spiritual giftings. Before he went to. May you grow from grace to grace. May God give you more spiritual gifts. Because a man's gift Long after the death of Joseph, and Joseph long after his death, a certain Pharaoh arose. This Pharaoh said, I do not recognize Joseph. I do not know him. Then he began to mistreat his brothers. He began to enslave them. He used them cheaply. I don't know who is using you cheaply. I don't know who has enslaved you. But I know there is God in heaven who is watching. And at the appointed time, God appeared to Moses in the it was not consumed. Even though our God is a consuming fire, on that day, he Draw 
mountains. And when Moses saw the fire and the prosperity of the tree at the same time, and all the fire burned, the greener the leaves, the better the fruits. He said, What a wow! What is going on? I must go and see what is going on. And as he was drawing towards the fire, God spoke. Like Moses, Moses, stop where you are and remove your sandals because Elohim has come down. His presence has sanctified the ground. It's a holy ground. Do not come there with your filthy sandals. Today, I see the presence of Elohim. This place is sanctified. I see the fire. When we were beginning in the morning, even as we are going to sing Yehovah, we're not sorry for I saw the presence of the Lord. It was so beautiful. It was so dense. It was so heavy. Today, God will touch you. God will meet you at the point of your need. If you believe, you say, I receive. It. Let somebody say, I receive. It. Receive your healing. Somebody here, God has touched you. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. I see the grace upon your life. Receive it. Receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Then he drew near the fire. Then he heard the voice of God. Then the fire said. A yap has come to you. So what is your name? Say I am that I am. Go back to Egypt. Even though you are a fugitive from justice. Go back. Go to Pharaoh. The man that you are running away from. Go back to him. Let's all say, I am going back. Going back to my greatness. I am not a runaway. I will not run away again. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Amen. Go back. And when you go to Pharaoh, tell him this, that the God of the children of Israel has spoken to me, that let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. Today I decree and declare, you will rise up and you will go. Nobody can restrain you. If you believe, you say, I am rising up and I am walking towards my prepared bad praise in the mighty name of Jesus so Moses returned and told the children of Israel that I have seen the God of our fathers he was like a fire do you know why when God delivered them from Egypt he led them in the pillar of fire among other things God wanted them to believe that the same God that revealed himself to Moses is the God that is leading them so that they may believe in Moses and his ministry. Today, God is giving you a certain grace and the people will believe you. I said they will accept you. They will accept your ingenuities. They will accept your gifting. And they will follow you. May God God make you an international leader. Or may you receive this divine leadership in the mighty name of Jesus. This will translate into promotion at your workplace. Receive your promotion. I say receive your promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. When I say something that is fantastic, something that is so desirable to you, I want you to sow into it to confirm it. Receive your divine promotion. I say, receive your promotion. Hallelujah. Amen. 
So Moses proclaimed the independence of the people of God. And Moses and Pharaoh resisted. The Pharaoh see one going for several days. In fact, it was God who hardened his heart. But God wanted to display his might. In these days, God will display his might in your business, in the life of your children. No, I have not heard an army from those behind. I say, God will fight for you. God will deliver you from the powers of darkness, from the powers in your family. If you believe, you say, I receive it. Receive your deliverance. Receive your portion. So God declared their independence. And Pharaoh said, I do not believe in your God. I do not respect him. I don't serve him. So I will not listen to him. You see, it's, it sounds logical. Pharaoh said, I would have believed if I had known your God. But I don't know him. So I don't believe him. So it would be the greatest act of stupidity to obey him. God said that I will let you know me. God will cause your enemies to know him. Then God said to Moses, I will do something to you. Pharaoh will see you like a God. From here, you walk like a divine being. Or receive your divinity. Do you know that you are a child of God? As many as received him, he gave them power to become children of God. If we are children, we are joint heirs with God. Then we have entered into the class of the gods. God said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand side I mean, if I so. until I make your enemies my footstool. So God Himself said, I, mean, I, say, I say of you, make up for what in this house. Yeah, well, you know, are you sure you are a child of Ooh, God? So well, you know, I mean, and do you understand the full implication of that? You are all gods because you are the sons of the most high. Lift up your hand. Say, hey. 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 So I am not an ordinary woman. I am not an ordinary man. I am a child of God. Then I will manifest my divinity. Oh, give a shout unto the Lord to honor his name in the house. Jesus is Lord. Yes, you are dead. Wow, my brother. Yes, you are dead. That's why he wants to know. He wants to know. He wants to know. He wants to know. Ah, but for what? What was the road he does say that? He was the road he was the road he was the road he was the road then God began to manifest his power. At the last day, Pharaoh could not resist the move of God. Those of you who think you can resist the move of God, you are kicking against the plague. God says, I should warn you. I will not recognize this leadership. I don't recognize you are digging your own catacomb you are preparing your death this is the move of God can't you see it can't you see it can't you see it why do you allow somebody to delude you God is moving. God is working. God is doing his own thing. Sometimes I think about things that God does in our lives. We speak. 
and God controlled the skies for us. The wonders that God does in our ministries set me thinking. Immediately after our induction as, 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 as executive members, we, I have always wanted to go to Israel to replant our church. Even before I became the general secretary, I was in Israel and I, I, I negotiated with a certain church to see their interest to see AC. Then I became a general secretary. God restrained me from traveling. For the four years, God spoke to me that remained at the headquarters to protect the church. Let the chairman and their missions do their international stuff. Today I give thanks to God that I listen to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Immediately I became the chairman. God himself stepped in and gave us 11 slots to go to Israel free of charge. opportunities. God will give you free of charge opportunities. Frustrating you. Yeah, oh, will get tired very soon. God will crush him. God will crush her. I declare a warning right now. If you don't change your heart and be in love, you'll be in trouble. Maybe this is the last one that I'm giving. Because I am ready to work with everyone. I need to do good to all manner of persons. But be very careful never to cross certain red lines. Because God is about to work. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Then God began to lead the people. When they got their independence. God led them. At night. With a pillar of fire. Pillar of fire. Let's all say pillar of fire. The same pillar. During the daytime. Became the pillar of cloud. But the same spirit. Animated the pillars. You see the same spirit. Is giving diverse gifts. But the same objective is behind them. So God gave them the pillar of fire. To lead them at night. And the same pillar became a pillar of cloud during the daytime. I see the pillar of cloud right now. In the morning, the rain came to baptize us because we were in the daytime. Now, I see the pillar of fire coming to you. Receive it. Receive it. Let's almost say fire. Let's almost say fire. Fire revolution. Hallelujah. Amen. Receive the fire.
receive the Holy Ghost fire. Glory be to God in the highest. Esi wo ti ra se Me ma wa ho ya fo asa wo na ti Ie Na wo wa ti na wo Na ma sha wa ni bo ya Na wa wo sa Me ni ra ra ti Ie Na wo sha Me ma wo sha ti na wo Na ma sha you see, God gave them two pillars. And one spirit animated them. At night, when the whole place became dark, because God wanted them to travel at night. The pillar of fire came to illuminate the place to give them warmth. Because in the desert, it is so cold at night. Our God is a caring God. He is a conscientious God. So he said, in Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 19. You in your great compassion did not forsake them in the wilderness. By the day, the pillar of cloud never turned away from guiding them on their paths. And by night, the pillar of fire illuminated the way where they should go. You see that we serve a compassionate God. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. And his mercies endures forever. Our God understood the weather. He knew that at night his people will be smitten by the moon to make them feel very, very cold. So he provided a pillar of fire. God understood that during the daytime the sun will smite them. But he has already spoken that the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. So during the daytime the pillar of God came to lead them and also to cool the environment. May God do this to you. In these days of economic hardship, may God make a strategic intervention into your business, into your family life, into your body. If you believe, you say, I receive it. Let somebody say, I receive it. Why did God give them the pillar of fire and the pillar of cloud? I've already said that it was to control the, 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 the environment to make sure that the people of God do not go through hardship so that they would not go Ham's way. God gave them the pillar <laughs> to provide divine leadership. Understand this. Our God is a leader by his divine nature. He said, imitate me even as I imitated Christ. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. God wants to lead and he led them by giving them the light as well. God wanted them to travel without stopping. God wanted them to get into their prepared place in time. God wants you to enter into your prepared place. God knows there are so many inhibitions. Because of this, he'll give you a help. Or receive your help today. Receive your help. So the pillar of fire 
was a night vision equipment that will help them to see at this world is full of darkness but God will give you a night vision equipment and you will see clearly in the midst of darkness that you will say when I dwell in darkness Jehovah is my light do you believe it they say my enemy do not rejoice do not gloat over my weaknesses when I fall down so even seven times I will rise up I will come back I will bounce back I will bounce back receive the power of the bounce receive the power of the bounce you are like a football when they hit to the ground as long as they pop the football and fill it with some air today your body is like the football God has filled you with the wind of heaven with the Holy Ghost so when they hit you to the ground you bounce the harder the bounce or the harder the hit the bigger the bounce because you have the bouncing power Receive the bouncing power. Receive the bouncing grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Mina boje moa, oni mina na, mina me suwa, iya suwa kami wo, wasa me wasa, awi. So the pillars provided leadership to the people of God. It means that leadership is very important in all the things we do. The Bible said that in those days there was no king in the land. And everybody did what pleases him. And it primed the nation of Israel into calamity and apostasy. I pray that these days God will give us leadership. You are a woman. You don't accept the leadership of your husband. That's why the house is in chaos. Children, you do not accept the leadership of your parents. That's why the family is in crisis. As a church, if you don't accept the leadership, Satan will step in to create distortion and confusion. So God provided leadership. God provided good atmospheric conditions to keep his people in comfort. Then God provided illumination so that his people will not fall into the ditch. Then God provided the divine presence. Let someone say divine presence. The Bible said that in his presence there is fullness of joy. May the presence of the Lord come to you today. I say, may the presence of the Lord come to you today. Moses said, if your presence does not go with us, I will, I will resign from my leadership. What can we do without your presence? The presence of the Lord is our joy. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. May the joy of the Lord become your portion today. May it become your healing today. Healing to your bones. Healing to the marrows of your bones. Healing to your your heart and your heart muscles. Heal it to your innermost substance. Heal it to your skin. Heal it to your business. If you believe, you say, I receive it. I am the Lord that he led I am the Lord your healer. I say my way and I heal your disease I am the Lord your healer do you 
know what I'm doing? We've sold the bootlets to you. We've made it very cheap. But there's stuff in them. The stuff in the bootlets are super heavy. I give thanks to God for the for the uh, apostles in the executive council. I've been reading through their materials. And it gives me great joy. Church, you must rejoice because of these people. They are knowledgeable and they are committed. They love the church. They are hard working. You see, sometimes we do certain things that thinking rationally we will not even dare to attempt. Do you know the cost of running two programs in Accra and in UST? But we believed in God. We wanted to give you the best. Enough is enough with mediocrity. We celebrated mediocrity for far too long. Today, God is taking us somewhere. We are going high tech. Who told you our God doesn't love excellence? Oh Lord, our God! How excellent is your name? In all the earth. CAC must aim at excellence. We must love the best. We must hate mediocrity. Stop celebrating small, small things. And begin to think about mega things. The Bible said that open your mouth widely and I'll fill it with good stuff. Is somebody ready for the next level? Then let somebody say next level. Next level. Next level. Is somebody ready for the next level? Can God do it? Can God do it? From today. Every every day. God will take you to the next level. No, I didn't hear an army from the young lady. A young pastor, I said, next level. Yes, somebody said, next level. Say, we are moving forward. We are walking. Nothing can stop us. Then we will run. Is somebody ready to run? 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 On the tablet, that you may read that run. Somebody will run, and you will not get tired. Receive Elijah's anointing, anointing to run, and not get tired. Hallelujah! Amen. He make all things beautiful in His time. But Amazes me. Some of the choices we make. Sometimes I'm not that rational. But after a while, I see that.
the decision was the best. I give thanks to God for a sharp prophetic instinct. So sometimes I may say something to you. It may not meet your logical understanding. But if you challenge it for a very long time, you will regret. I say God will give you his presence. I say God will give you the divine presence. My wife was going to sell her car. Then somebody came there. Now, then I said, Don't give it to him. My wife thought it didn't make sense. So she gave the car to the guy. And she never got a dime from it. Then one day she came to Takurade. Where I was pastoring. She was driving to Accra. Then no, I, 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 she was driving to Accra in her own car. Now, on can they the concrete? Then, uh, somebody, a friend of mine, our pastor in South Africa, me, me uncle, so be, know, South Africa, offered to drive the car. Oh, 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 then the spirit told me. Now, I said to my wife. Me, 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 immediately, you get to Kaswa. Say, Uduru Kaswa. Get the car from the guy and drive on your own. Now, when they go to Kaswa, she felt like sleeping. The guy looked at her and she was sleeping. Good. Within some few seconds, the vehicle was involved in an accident. Beloved, when God gives you leadership and you don't obey even in little terms you can suffer. Today my wife has learned a lesson and I always advise her that I don't have to be logical to be believed. But the ways of God may never be understood. Hallelujah! Amen! Now, God gave them his presence. Then he used the pillars to protect them. God will protect his intersection. God will protect the church. I will build my church at the gates of hell. Can never prevail against you. God will protect you. I say God will protect you. God will ensure that you are not put through the harm's way. God will protect you. He that watches over Zion does not sleep nor slumber. He will protect your business. He will protect your ministry. God will continue to protect CS. I say God will protect CS. He used the pillar to protect his people. When the Egyptians were coming for them, the pillar of fire and the pillar of cloud stood between the children of Israel and the Egyptians. Then the Bible said, God looked through the pillar of fire. Exodus chapter 40, verse 23 to 25. God looked through the pillar and he began to trouble the Egyptians and he removed the wheels from under their vehicles to make them immobile. A day is coming. I believe it begins from today. God will destroy the mobility of your enemy. God will destroy the mobility of your enemy. They cannot move any longer. I arrest Rest them. Me too. When Apostle Asumadu was in Germany, I was invited to uh, the Hague. Yeah, you, I think we called the Hague to 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 know to do some chatting with them. Same in Kodi, Asumadu Juma be many. I'm going to Kodi Juma. As we are having the program, I'm going to Juma be no air cushion. Apostle Asumadu invited me to Hamburg. Asumafu Asumadu at Osa Frame called Hamburg. I went to his church. I'm going to call him sorry. One evening I was preaching. I said that God will arrest our enemies and afflict them with stupidity. They cannot move. Hallelujah. Amen. It was a winter night. Winter, winter. It was. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Europe. Amen. I receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nani ti ati odi 200 Ghana to her akwe ye ni ati. I ready be you. Amen. I be man of visa. Na unya sika hi na o masa. He visited Apostle Nimo. Because na Apostle Nimo. And Apostle said, "Why haven't you visited me this visited me these days?" Na dentro na say o masra me. When he was leaving, amra okon. He gave Apostle more money. He be my Apostle Nimo. Apostle Nimo said. Apostle Nimo said, "What she and what Papa? I've, I've learned from my father. Your father will never count me without giving me any time. But Mama, tell your Mama here. So you've learned from him. So you know. Now I know be my home. that you were not coming because you didn't have money. Mm. Amen. You've come because you have money. Me buy every single muska. Hallelujah. Amen. And God is helping him. Ready, boy. It's one of the testimonies I have. Amen. When I saw him, he was sleeping in the chapel. Papa, who me na me dash? I saw them in the TC chapel. I will teach you. I saw them. The Holy Spirit said, "I'm going to say, bring him to your house." Panobra ufi. Then I saw the gem inside him. Now who be be do me mu? Then I began to work to make it shine. No fear, see see see. I'm sorry, be a baby pee. That is my specialty. Sana ready, ayah papa. When I see young people, who man tia? And I see something great in them. I'm going to get you more. I bring them closer. Me two one by me. And I work on them. Now me you one who juma to make them shine. Now my wash ready. That is what God has given to me. We na chada nyame dia mama. So young ministers, if they are so fun kuma, do not be afraid of me. Me instro me. Always come to me. I bring you Abraham and Chai. I'll give you some advice. I will urge you to go to school. There are some apostles here. I urge them to go back to school. And today, some of them have their masters. You see, you must work to bring the best in somebody. Do not frustrate future stars. Help them. They will become your helper. Today he is interpreting. And it is so cool for me. Today he is a pastor. He is a hard working man of God. He is a pastor. But he is also a protocol. He will be going round. Doing the work of the protocol. Beloved. Let us bring up talents. Do not frustrate future leaders. When we came into the ministry, we were frustrated. Hey. We almost ran away. We were disdained. We were treated as if we kill human beings. We were treated as if we eat human flesh. But for the grace, some of us will not have survived. So my apostles and executive council members and the senior ministers do not terrify the younger ones. Let us teach them. Let us bring them closer to us. Let us impart our grace to them. Because in our old age, they will serve us. Put your hands together to bless the Lord. Adu, 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 God protected them. God frustrated the Egyptians. Then the Egyptians confessed. Let us run away. The God of the Israelites is against us. Our God will fight for us. He will fight for you. Do you see my finger? Then I mean you. I say God will fight for you. Your enemies may have gathered themselves on one path. But your God, your God, your God, your God as my Nigerian friends will put it, Will speak Obekasa. and they will be terrified. Now, we'll be, we'll, we'll, and on seven different paths, they will take to their hills. We'll May God do this for you. Say, I receive it. 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 God will fight for you. The pillars rendered security services to the people of God. 
God will protect you. God will protect you. Let me give you some lessons. Lessons that could be gleaned from this story. Number one. God should be our leader always. He should lead us in public. And in the private places. God should be our leader. God should lead us in the light. And also in the dark places. God will continue to lead you. Do you accept it? God will lead you in time. In season and out of season. God should lead everywhere. Psalm 123 verse 1 to 3. The Lord is my shepherd. Is it Psalm 23? Now what And I love to never Jesus. Ah, my beautiful sister, I want to see your hand. And my elegant brother, I want to ah, see your hand. Picture. Ah, you know, I'm going to see my picture. I'm going to see my picture. I'm going to see my picture. Because the Lord is my shepherd. I'm going to see my picture. I'm going to see my They go bless you. Ready to sit down. Say the Lord is my shepherd. I'm going to see my picture. Do you really believe it? Do you want the Lord to become your shepherd? For we are his sheep. We are his people. And the sheep of his pasture. Let's all say the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leadeth me in his green pasture to the still waters. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Ah, come 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 God wants to lead us. God should lead us. God should reign in our lives. The Lord is my shepherd. God should reign in our lives. The Lord is my shepherd. God should reign in our lives. The Lord is my shepherd. God should reign in our lives. The Lord is my shepherd. God should reign in our lives. The Lord is my shepherd. God should reign in our lives. The Lord is my shepherd. God should reign in our lives. The Lord is my shepherd. God leads His people by His Spirit and His Word. God leads His people by the Word and the Spirit. That's why in CAC, we never joke with the Word of God. Was a great teacher of the Bible. It is said that whenever he was confronted with an issue, he would say, He loved the Bible. He knew the Bible. And he bequeathed that grace to us. Then they said, Yearn for the Spirit. Pray for the Spirit. For when God is leading, it is the spirit and the word. As many as are led by the spirit, they are the sons of God. Another lesson is that the same spirit that operates or the same spirit can operate differently but having the same objective. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 12 uh, verse 4 to 7. For there are diversities of gifts. But the same spirit. There are differences of ministries. But the same law. And there are diversities of acts. 
activities. But it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. So, lesson number three is that the same Spirit can operate differently but having the same objective. What was the objective of the pillars of fire and uh, and crowd. It was to give them the divine presence. It was to assure them that God was in their midst. It was to show them the way. It was to terrify their enemies. It was to make sure that they do not enter into damnation. Another lesson is that, is that children of God must follow the move of the spirit always. And the Lord went before them by day in the pillar of clouds to lead them in the way and by night in the pillar of fire to give them the light so as to go by day and night. He did not take away the pillar of cloud by day. Or the pillar of fire by night. From his people. For as many as are led. They are the sons of God. When the spirit moves. Children of God must follow suit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall perfect your path. We must learn how to move with the spirit. I pray, oh God, that you give this mighty man and women the understanding heart and wisdom to appreciate that nobody can resist the spirit. Let us move together. Church! Let us move together. Let us love one another. Let love be without hypocrisy. That is the prophecy we got this morning. That love shouldn't be with hypocrisy. Let us love in all purity. Another lesson is that God wants his children to see clearly. That is why he shows us his ways. God doesn't want you to walk in darkness. God doesn't want you to wallow in confusion. God wants you to know his ways. He has shown you all man what is good and what the Lord requires of you that to do justly love mercy and walk before the Lord your God in humility he showed Abraham his ways he shows Moses his ways your word is a lie to my feet God's word is to show us the mind of God he doesn't want us to walk in darkness so he gave them the pillar of light so that in, in utter darkness they will see Another lesson is that God, Baba God, is light. God is light. The Lord is the light of my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid? God is light. Let's hear what John said about God. First John chapter 1. 5 to 7. This is the message which we have received. This is the message we have heard from him. And declare same to you. That God is light. And in him there is no darkness at all. If you say we have fellowship with him, we walk in darkness. We lie and do not practice the truth. But if you walk in the light, as he is in us, then we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Christ 
who cleanse us from all sins. God delights in transparency. He wants us to walk in the light. Another lesson is that obedience to divine direction is crucial to the success of our spiritual journey. It must we travel in spirit. Walking towards our promised land. Walking towards our prepared place in destiny. We need to listen to the one who gifted that land to us. We must listen to God. For it shall come to pass. That if thou shalt diligently hearken to the Lord thy God, and to obey and to do all these things that I command you this day, then all these blessings will come upon and the you. Have also. Listen to what God said to Joshua in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it. Day and night, and apart any other do that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. Now, what shall you say? Now, what you will for then you will make your ways prosperous, and then I walk away a bit away, and then you will have good success. Now, so what do you mean, Papa? If you want to succeed. In your spiritual journey, obey God. Yes, it's your mirror day. Duty before complaint. Yeah, do my real answer. I walk a sakasa. I want to talk about operating without the pillar of fire. Hold somebody's hand. Just one person. And shake the fellow. Say, my brother. Don't call that woman my brother. Say, my sister. It is dangerous. Hey, who said? To do business. As a believer. Traveling to your destiny. Traveling to your destination. It is dangerous hey, who said? to ignore the God factor. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we do business without the pillar of fire, it signals that we are not under divine government. We are not under the government of God. I want you to listen to me carefully. Our God is righteous. Holy in all his ways. The most dangerous thing to do is to put a wicked person in power. A person without moral sensitivities. A person who is very callous. Who doesn't want to care about others? A person who is so selfish and self-seeking. A leader whose agenda is to amass wealth only. A leader whose much imagination is to lord over others. If you get such a person as your leader, go and cry. Because the Bible says, when the wicked reigns, there is gnashing of teeth. And there is weeping in the city. But in the reign of the righteous, there will be righteousness and there will be joy. When God reigns, the people will rejoice. Lift up your right hand. Say, let the Lord reign. I have not heard your voice. Let the Lord reign. No, I have not heard your voice. Let the Lord reign. Let the Lord reign. And the people will rejoice. Lift up your hand. Pray yearfully. Say, God. God. Bring your governance. Let your government come. Let your reign come. Jesus said, In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father, which is in heaven, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom. Let your kingdom come. And let your will be done. May the will of the Lord be done in your life. Do you know the will of God for your life? 
Do you know it? He said, Beloved, I said, my beloved, I, said, I wish above all things that in everything so I in name, thou mayest prosper and be in good health. Receive your prosperity, receive your good health in the mighty name of when Jesus. Jesus to them. You see, I'm going to say, when you are not under the pillar of fire, sir, it signifies that you do not enjoy the divine covering. Then you become vulnerable. Whenever the children of Israel ignored the move of God, whenever they slacked, whenever they couldn't move speedily, in accordance with the dictates of the spirit move, they were destroyed by the Amalekites. Amalekai for, for the Amalekites and the Canaanites are before you. Now, and, the are for and you shall fall by the sword. Now, hey. Hey. Say that then the Amalekites and the Canaanites, and the Canaanites the Amalekai for the Canaan for, who dwelt in the mountain came down to attack them and drove them back now, what as far as Homa. Beloved, what for? when the pillar of fire is not with you, you fall into carnality and apostasy. You become carnal. Then you begin to think like an ordinary man. Then you begin to believe in strange things. And then you begin to do strange things. You begin to do anti God things. Things that will make you destroy yourself. When you lose the pillar of fire, you become unproductive. You see, when you become unproductive, your business doesn't prosper. Even your physical body cannot reproduce after your own kind. Then you become barren in spirit and in the physical. Lift up your hand. Say, today I receive the grace of productivity. Productivity. You will bear much fruit. Jesus said, I am is the fire. If you dwell in me and my word in you, then you shall bring forth fruit in season. May you become fruitful. May your business become fruitful. May your children become fruitful. May you become very, very rich. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to see your two hands lifted above your heads. Your two hands. Not right hand. Say, Father. Empower my hands with the grace of productivity. Productivity. For those of you looking for the fruit of the womb, touch your womb. Say, today I receive productive anointing. I receive reproductive anointing. For those of you who are facing challenges in your business, say, Father, anoint my hands. Touch my hands to make them productive. My hands are blessed. I have not heard your voice. My hands are blessed with the blessings of the Lord. Anything I shall touch from today shall become a blessing. Do you accept it? They make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise. There's something that I must say. What 
What are those things that make people to wander away from the pillar of fire? The first one is unbelieving. You see, when Moses was traveling with the people, those who disbelieved, wandered away from the pillar and they got destroyed in the process I don't want to expand things too much they take this from me without faith it is impossible to please God without faith you feel reluctant following God without faith you cannot do certain spiritual things without faith you may not accept the wisdom of God. Another thing that can make people to wander away from the pillar of fire is the non-acceptance of the agencies of God. You don't accept your pastor but you travel to TB Joshua. You book an appointment with him that in three months I'm, I'll come back. You see, when our members visit some of these people, they give like they are crazy. But on the day of the appointment, you heard that TB Joshua was there. You see, look at the folly. Look at, look at the mistake you've made. You don't respect your pastor. Church, sorry, what is wrong? The local pastor is the most important human being in your life. Because he is available. He's always around. But you don't accept his minister. That's why you are suffering. You don't accept your pastor. But you believe in a certain white pastor. In America. Who doesn't know you? He doesn't care about you. He doesn't think about you. But he is your daddy. Oh, my daddy is Benny Hinn. You are a joker. Benny Hinn doesn't know you. He doesn't care. But your local pastor is God's agent. Some of you, you don't even accept your executive council members because you are too political. You don't think spiritual oh, no, no. to the impure. Nothing is holy. So you resist and the who, powers that be. And they told me, oh, no, we see a kind. In Ghana. Well, Ghana huh? Many of us don't respect Ghana. We don't Ghana. respect the opportunities in this country. You see, when I was in Domahin Group, I saw Doma Secondary School as a golden opportunity. I saw it as a six form school that could catapult me to my dreams. So when I entered into that school, I made the most of it. During the vacations, my friends will come to Kumasi for the vacation classes. I didn't have money. I couldn't even pay for my school fees. How could I attend vacation classes? And when they were coming to Kumasi, they couldn't carry all their books. So I would take all the books. I would not even go home in vacation. Then I take all the books. I read all of them. Some of the books, I literally copied them. Apostle Asumadu is my witness. Before you return from vacation classes, I would have been shopping than you. From that village school, I went to University of Ghana to read law. I saw that school as an opportunity. You must accept the agent of God as an opportunity. You must accept your pastor as an opportunity. You must respect prophets in CAC. You must accept your elders. You must accept the music director. You must accept the area head. You must accept the territorial heads. And you must respect the executive council. Our God is not an altar of confusion. Some of you, do you know your problem? You make one person your God. Then you become a buffoon in the process. Then you don't understand 
anything. Then you resist plain things. Then you kick against the bridge. May God deliver you today from any crutches of yesteryear. In the mighty name of Jesus. Se wundo we wurati wa komani wa dia ina na se wundo we yonko wundo wudia se wuhu a asasiye ni da ibuju mi potu tu bogu bogu pa esio. I shame you, I reward deeply. Hey, Apostle, I know you're a good one. I mean, you're a good one. 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 You're so ready and so ready to be our beba. He promised me, sir, obey us, sir. And I left Ghana to go to school. When I, Ghana, came, so go to school. when I came back, I by, you know. he was not in the church. People were sent to me to join. People were sent to me to join. Yes, the program said, me, me but I knew in my right conscience. <laughs> That it wasn't the right thing to do. And yeah, the papa said, "Yeah, yeah." Then I remain in this church. Now, me ka asori mo. I decided to love CAC. Me bo me timu po se me da asori. Apostle Ochiri was my area head in Takurade. Me wa Takurade na Apostle Ochiri enemy. He knew I work like a bull. If I'm lying, you can. I mean, you can be trained. When I was in Ashamai, I work like a bull. Yeah, you must have said be In Takurade, in Takurade, every Sunday I did three services. I was hopping from one radio station to the other. Now me free radio back home. Now me come for France. My senior is here. He will bear with me. When I came to Kumasi, I worked like a donkey. He, you see people, you are here. Maybe you've never seen such a hard working pastor before. Monday evening, I'll be preaching at night. Monday, because Jordan Ajo, Jordan Ajo, I will radio, Sika FM. Wednesday, Jordan, I'll preach. Ukwela, you, I'm much so me preachy. At the FM. Then from there, I rush to church to organize prayer meetings. Thursday evening, I'll be at the FM station. At a point, I was also going to Angel FM, Ketasi, Dina Samoa. Then, dawn of Sundays. Now, Sunday, I'm going to church. I also went to some studios. Then I will come and do two services. I could have died in the process. But God protected me. I love the church. I love this church. I wanted to give the best services to the church. When we were about to celebrate the centenary, I purpose in my heart to build a monument to celebrate the centenary. So you go to TUC today. You see a high rise building. The objective was to celebrate the centenary of CAC. It wasn't easy to initiate that project. So I said thank you to Elder Sumadu. He supported me. Hallelujah. Amen. When we we're doing those things, unknown to me, 
God was delighted. God was delightful of it. In that year, the organized sentinel quiz. And my small boy, 12 years, won the national prize. He was in contention with some lecturers. In that same year, when they organized the sentinel celebration in Accra, oh, I was invited to become one of the MCs. A year after, God opened two doors for me to travel without paying for my tickets. A year after that, I was elected as a general secretary. After four years, God promoted me. And today I've become the chairman. I said this. God is watching. God is watching. That's the word of assurance I have for you. God is watching. God is watching. God is watching. God is watching. God is not a righteous to forget your work and your labor of life. Accept his agencies. Accept the church. Some of you don't love CS. You are just in the church. Some of the things you say about the church. Some of the things you do. Are dangerous and inimical. May God give you the right frame of mind so that you do not frustrate God's agency. Refusing to move along with the spirit can also take you away from the pillar of fire. Rejecting divine agenda. Rejecting divine agenda at every point in time, God has an agenda, God has something that He wants to accomplish. If you resist it, God will somebody will say, God will jettison you out of His class. Another thing that can take you out of the pillar of fire. It's internal strife. Internal strife. Some of us, we exist to create chaos. To create confusion. In every argument, there's a tendency in you to complicate little things to make the world confuse in leadership we must be agreeable we must be easily entreated that is one of the fruit of the spirit of God you are too very close you like fighting you fight your children you fight your husband you fight your wife. You fight your dog. You're always at war. You are too. I'm, I'm trying to get a certain word. I was about to say something and I had to withdraw it. So let me use this soft word. You are too contentious. Contentious, you are always contending. It can kill you. You never get satisfied. You never get happy. You are against everyone. You are in MPP. Immediately your party won power. You resigned to join the opposition. Because it is your vocation to criticize. You are overly critical. You never encourage people. You never see good things. You are divisive. Listen to what Paul said. 
For ye are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envying. So you are envious. And strife. And divisions. Are ye not carnal? And walk as men. Listen to me. God doesn't want you to walk like a, a mere man. He wants you to enter into the class of the God to manifest your divinity. For what one said, I am of Paul, of another, and I am of Apollos. Are you not canal? We belong to Christ. Let us stand together. Otherwise, we devise ourselves. You see, you want to be led by the Spirit, by the pillar of fire, acknowledge that God is your leader. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not watch. He leads me besides the still waters. He makes me to lie down in the green pastures. He restores my soul he leads me in the path of his righteousness for his name's sake. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God as your leader. Lead me. Master, lead me. Another thing to do to maintain the fellowship of the pillar of fire is to accept the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Accept the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Never be ashamed of the Spirit. And never say anything that belittles the move of the Spirit. There's one thing people do to belittle the influence of the spirit. Things we do to grieve the spirit. One is ascribing great things to the devil. So when somebody becomes rich, we ascribe it to Juju. When somebody gets something big, we ascribe it to the occult. When somebody begins to excel, we ascribe it to some lewd lifestyle. But that is not true. God admonishes people to succeed through obedience, through hard work, through good management, through good connections. So, children of God can succeed. Do not ascribe beautiful things to idols. Do not ascribe beautiful things to witches. Because God is an excellent God. And he will give you the best. I know a certain man. He's always calling names. He said, Papa, where are you for? Mommy, where are you for? 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 Jesus. Where are you for? 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 Jesus. Where are you for? 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 MPB or your big power Ghana. You don't know about say, Papa, I'm a mom person. I'm riding tea, Jimmy. So I say, I'm a Christian for me, a mom person. I'm riding tea, Jimmy. So me, I'm sure she me. Oh, you know, I'm a child. Yes, I'm a young baby. I'm a young answer. I don't know. Be the moment I'm also a baby for. I don't know. Buy a year from a back. Who could need it? Who faster than my ready? A back who could need it. I don't know. Obi, yeah, three times. Yeah, so many three times. Yeah, three, three, three. I buy for a few people. I buy for them. You know, I will look at church. Oh, I know. I need media. Now, yeah, yeah. It's a convention. Yeah, Jurisica. I want more. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, come. National. Yeah, buy. Yeah, yes, you know, yeah, Juri. And until I'm here, I'm here to be boom. I'm also there. Why are they? We are here to be boom. That is good. It is authenticity. Jesus. It means you believe in what you are saying. We are happy that we need be. Hey, we need be. Jesus. And then we need to be a dad for. We need to be first. Now, sorry, can't pass it. 
ya jio musika ya bahai miso majibi enye mi ni on maso fona mi bo mo chaju wa se mi si kiriska no mo chine kom na u preach wa ja otu no mo preach nti wa sati nya ho de u preach nti wa ja ya pio wa sati nya ho de wa sati think it right u preach nti wa ja wi no na dwi mo abe da ho u preach nti wa ja twa ma mo nti ni sika no tena ne ho ade di me ma sika ya bra twi so fu preach nti the money consultation is so wajai. Jesus. Amma. A confone a zanfu and you musi kabi. U preaching to a sue juma ding. A radin shira sofu. Amen. U preaching ti. Wajai kwasi asembidum. No be just anima wina. Do a yer juma dia. Oye ye. Oye ye. I don't know yet. You want to say something? What could you do? And the idea is for a permanent. So now, so many. The idea is for a permanent. The idea is for a boom. Yes, sir. Where you see is a mature church. Who may have been born before, but by the time, 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 time. Where you buy for? Where you buy for? Where are they? Obisu ya huse. A brand ye biya ye ye. Open huwa didi. Na wabwane mame ni 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 yana mjena be ye. Na wudi ifu wo sofu na wudi didi na. God is watching. Yan sore mba isu binom. Yan sorry, my subinum, Crofo, who did ye, did ye? Nayanam, Naya Bobbe, Naya Goody Penimas, Minim, so good, Yami Penimas, and Minima de Agunia. I hear the Prebessa. What is some of us of Yakud? Now, when I was first a candy for somebody, William says, I will cut you in your son and work. And I want to be. Well, come with soon soon. Now, what's the second day? Bronze money. Never wow. Bronze money. Never wow. Oh, say me pa. Yes. 